continue to look really poor, especially Jalen Hurts. I love the interviews that he has so far. Like, nobody talked about us. We were, what, what he said, like, two and five or something like last year. Now they're yeah. six and no. Now everybody wants to talk about us. Now yeah. we, want, we can be in headlines. But I love what their defense is doing. They made good moves by getting Chauncey Gardner from the New Orleans Saints. Mm-hmm. He has been a, he, two interceptions. He looked good. And he was a Florida guy. So I got to highlight that. True. But Jalen Hurts, he doesn't have to have the big numbers He's strategic and he's smart. He's a game manager who happens to be super fast on his feet. So that's that's a, that's a plus. But I love what the Eagles are doing, especially at that defense. The defense is looking good. They got some old guys like Fletcher Cox still leading the, the front seven. And then you got some young guys like Chauncey Gardner who's, you know, taking up two interceptions, diving, jumping up in the air for him. He's doing it all. But, yeah, Eagles look good. Eagles look good. I still think Giants are the, the best, though. In I the mean, NFC, yes, five and one, five and one as well. So I mean, you, you can't you can't can't overlook that either. But Mm-mm. with with Dallas though, like there have been the the circulating talks of like, okay, co- put Cooper Rush in uh, over over Dak. Like I feel as though when you in a game like that, in a primetime game like that, it gets an undefeated undefeated Eagles team. Like, do you think it's one of those one of those reality checks where even for the people that thought there might be a quarterback change, it shows hey, you're still going to need a quarterback a quarterback like Dak Prescott. To actually get them over the hump when they compete against these like top tier teams like like Philly. See, that's tough because I think we would not even mention Dak if the running game was working. And I'll always mention this, I always reiterate this. If the run game is working, it makes it easy for the quarterback, it makes it easier for the wide receivers, it makes it difficult for the secondary. But the running game is not working with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. So is everything is on Cooper Rush. He's not that type of quarterback. He's a game manager, and he'll give you some good, consistent drives throughout the game, but you have to capitalize and make some big plays. Yeah. Excuse me. If the running game is not working, that's for any quarterback who's having a bad game, the whole offense is going to have a bad game. So it, it depends on the running game to me. If the running game is working, I think Cooper Rush would still be, you know, talked about in a light that maybe they don't need that, Brescott. But with this game, it's it, – it's, it's up in the air. It's, you know, it's, it's situational. Yeah, situational, definitely. Um, and, and now getting into the Bills' road win. 